Hello and welcome to Shop Talk with Dan the Man. Today's video, we're going to talk woodworking. Here I have a birdhouse. I'm going to show you the tools I used to build it and just an overall example of what you can do for crafts. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello, if you're new to this channel, my name is Dan Shannon. I enjoy woodworking as a hobby and being out in the shop. On this channel, dive deep into my shop as we explore tools and tool reviews, as well as chatting about everything related to woodwork. If this grabs you by the tool belt, please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. back shop talk with Dan the man today's video we're just gonna have a little look at this this is a birdhouse I built for my wife she wanted one for her birthday so I thought hey let's get some ideas together brainstorm go online look at some patterns and see what I can come up with so this is what I came up with for a birdhouse uh, it's pretty basic in a lot of ways but I dressed it up a little bit got a little chimney here in front of course you can see I have this perch uh, for the bird and of course the hole uh, for them to enter down here I got some nice trim so we're just going to go over uh, the tools that I used for this project maybe uh, you know Christmas just around the bend so maybe there's something that you'd like to build uh, for your uh, significant other or maybe you just want to build a birdhouse just in general so with that let's check out some of the tools that I used to accomplish this and uh, go from there. So one of the main tools I used to build this project was a table saw. So a lot of times uh, you have your structure of your birdhouse, in this particular case we're talking about the birdhouse, and you have a certain width, overall width that you're trying to establish for this birdhouse. So whether it's your base or whether it's your roof, you have to rip your boards. So that's where the table saw comes in handy. I'm able to take these boards, get the width that I want, the correct size, and make sure that my fence is lined up perfectly for the exact measurement, run my boards through, and then I get the exact um, overall width that I want for my roof line. Same with my base. Uh, in order to get my base uh, the exact size, of course, I had to rip uh, through the table saw as well. And you might notice on my birdhouse, that uh, you can't see the edging of the wood. And that's because I cut little pieces of trim uh, to put over the edging. So you can't really notice that that's there. Uh, so with the table saw, that was one of the main tools uh, for me to uh, create this project. So we're gonna jump into the next tool that I used uh, to build this birdhouse. So another tool that was vital to creating this birdhouse was this sliding miter saw. I've done a review. I'll leave a link in the description. Same with the table saw. So in order to get the exact angles, the pitch of the roof, and even the front and back, I needed uh, certain angles to be cut. So in order to do those angles, I was able to use the saw, move the uh, adjustments on here to get the exact pitch that I wanted. This particular roof has slightly uh, less than a 45 degree. Now, depending on the birdhouse you build or the craft that you create, uh, in this case, we're talking about a birdhouse. So some have a very uh, steep pitch on the roof. Other ones have a, a less of a grade. Uh, of course, you would design that based on, on what you're looking for for the overall appearance uh, for your birdhouse. Also, another thing I was able to do with this tool is get my length. So I was kind of having a look I was going for for my birdhouse and in this case I wanted uh, this exact length. Same with my base. Uh, in order to get that of course I was able to set this up at a 90 degree, cut it, 
and then uh, that was my overall length uh, for each board. On the back, it was a little bit more tricky. Once I established the pitch of my roof, I had to, of course, uh, bring the back side up and line it up. So that was a little bit tricky to figure out uh, right off the cuff, uh, but I did figure that out and uh, it turned out quite nice. So that's one, another tool uh, that I used. So I had the table saw first and I used the sliding miter uh, to get uh, these particular cuts. Same with my trim, uh, I got 45s uh, for my trim on the base here and I was able to use that uh, with the saw. So let's jump on to the next tool that I used to build this birdhouse. So the next tool that I used for the birdhouse was the sander. But for my birdhouse, I needed to come up with two things that needed this tool, and this tool was crucial. Uh, now, you can get by, I should mention, a lot of these tools and workshop in general, you can use a tool like this that's easier, but you also could take a piece of sandpaper and manually do it, like put a, take a block of wood and wrap it with sandpaper and then manually uh, control your, your wood. But in this case, uh, this tool was convenient, worked well, and uh, it's good for lots of other projects in my shop. But in order to get the chimney, the top of the chimney, I was, I needed to use uh, this tool. And as you can see there, it is, has some edges on it. And I was able to round that and make that shaped exactly the way I wanted it. So just kind of give it a unique look. And the other thing I needed this sander for was my stand. So this is like the bird perch uh, before they go into the birdhouse. So I took a piece of red oak and I just wanted to form it, kind of make it at more of a natural um, piece of wood for the bird to land on. So I just took that and all I did was I turn the belt on and I just kind of uh, took this guard off and basically just moved the board around until I got it to the exact um, kind of look that I was looking for, the natural kind of look and rounded look. Uh, so just kind of play around with it really is what it comes down to. You don't have to have anything perfect. In this case, uh, birdhouse, I mean, they're not going to really notice the difference, uh, you know, compared to something that looks amazing, something that doesn't. So just kind of have fun with it. It's really the goal of, of this channel and getting out in your shop. Uh, yeah, so this tool was very handy. Like I said, for those particular features uh, on this project. Now, had I needed to sand uh, edges and part of the roof line, this tool would have been great because I have a stop block and I could put my board up against and really get some sanding done. But I didn't need that on this project. But uh, yeah, so this was another tool that I used uh, to create this birdhouse. All right, so I got another couple tools that I'll show you uh, to finish this job. So one other tool that I used is this oscillating multi-tool. And I was able to cut out my um, trim pieces. So I put this piece of trim around the perch and I just kind of thought it added a nice decorative look. Same with this piece of trim on the inside of the peak and as well on the back side, I cut this out as well. So there's many different ways to do that same cutting. You could use a, a scroll saw, um, really multiple tools uh, that you could use to do the exact same thing. But I thought, you know what, it's, it's a thin piece of plywood, thin piece of wood. I can just use these this multi-tool, score my line, and then just cut it nice and easy with this uh, multi-tool. So this can be used for uh, flooring, many different types of, of woodworking. But in this particular case, I thought, you know what, I got the tool. Uh, why not be creative and, and use it in different ways? So that was one thing I, I used it for, was cutting uh, this trim piece and the two 
uh, peak trim pieces uh, for the roof line. So that's another tool that I used on this birdhouse project. Another tool that I use is kind of buried back here. So since my shop is so small, I have to store a lot of my tools in the corner and kind of rearrange my setup just to use them. Uh, but that's just the way it is for right now until I get a bigger shop or uh, have a better setup, which is fine, which is fine with your shop. Uh, a lot of times there's tools you might not use that often and they can just kind of be stored in a spot that's not easy to get at because you just don't use them every day and uh, it's perfectly fine. But with this tool, I needed to get a nice hole cut for my bird hole. So as you can see on my project there, it's a really nice circular hole. Uh, it's spaced well and it was easy to cut out because I use the drill press. So I was able to take my board, find out the center of my bird door, if you will, uh, bird hole. And uh, then I just marked it and I took a spade bit and I mounted it in the chuck, tightened it up. Um, and then of course brought it down ever so slowly. And it's important when you're using the drill press especially if you have hardwood or very deep wood to always back your bit up because the shavings will sit there inside the hole and a lot of times they'll burn or it will just get clogged and it's harder on the motor. So you just back it up. Shavings will come into the hole again and then re replunge. So just a little tip there when it comes to a drill press and using that for your projects. So yeah, I thought that turned out nice and uh, it was very easy to do. Uh, way easier than using a drill and trying to steady that with your hands. On here, everything's pretty straightforward uh, for, for using. So yeah, that's another tool I used on this project. So the last tool that I used on this project, once I had everything done, everything formed the way I wanted, and cut out, I was able to put everything together and glue it. Now, this particular birdhouse, I had to do in stages. So the first thing I did was I built the main structure of this birdhouse, and then I was able to add the roof. And then after that, I was able to put on this um, perch, and then all, of course, all the trim and everything else. So it was in stages. Well, in order to do that, I had these Irwin quick grip clamps. And these clamps are great. In um, this particular case, I had to hold on little pieces of trim on the front and the back. So in order to do that, it was pretty straightforward. I just slide the clamp on, slide it in, and then just give it a little pressure. And there you go, perfect. But I had to do it in stages. I don't own too many of these clamps, so I wasn't able to like do a whole bunch of gluing at once. So with a birdhouse and many other projects for that matter, uh, sometimes you have to be patient uh, when you put a project together. I think this took me maybe a week to fully glue up just because I did it in stages. Uh, like I said, I did the base, uh, the sides, front and back, uh, in one pro in one setting and then I did the roof another setting and then all these trim pieces Of course, there's a lot of them front back this little triangle piece the chimney the chimney cap like uh, the base down here like everything was small uh, very um, Time-consuming as far as getting the gluing done so don't stress out, just take your time. A lot of these projects, uh, you know, do take a lot of time to plan, to cut, and uh, to glue together. So it's very um, meticulous work, I guess would be the best way to word it. Uh, I did enjoy this birdhouse. I'll give you some final thoughts on that in just a minute. So some final impressions or thoughts on this birdhouse. 
my wife said to me for my birthday, I want a birdhouse. So that's how this whole project really came to light. I didn't think one day, let's build a birdhouse. Although it's something I did when I was younger, pine boards, very straightforward. This one's a bit more elaborate. I took more time at it. I thought it out. Uh, you know, I have a chimney on it. Like it's, it's quite detailed in a lot of ways. Now you can go online and there's some that are very elaborate. You got cedar shakes, uh, balconies, the list just goes on and on. You can look that up uh, for yourself. But basically it's a project that took way more time than I originally thought. I thought, okay, cut a couple boards, uh, put it together. But the more I got into it, the more I enjoyed it. And of course, the more cutting, uh, you know, gluing, uh, clamping, all that kind of stuff uh, fell into place uh, for this project. So overall, I really enjoyed building this birdhouse for my wife. Uh, she really enjoys it. Hopefully the birds do as well, or else, you know, it might be a flop. But, uh, but hopefully, uh, you know, it gets a lot of use from, from nature. And uh, one thing I didn't note yet on this birdhouse is I did use an oil-based clear coat. I put three coats on it. So all that does is it's out in the weather nonstop. So it just gives it a fighting chance uh, for the weather for years to come. And uh, you know, you don't have to stain yours or put any treatment on it, but I would recommend it just because it's outside nonstop and it's gonna have uh, rain and, and snow and different things. Uh, or you could bring it inside in the winter. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, so I really enjoy this project. I really enjoy uh, building this. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you some more projects that I'll be working on in the future. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and uh, check out this video here. Thanks and have a great day.